السلام علیکم میں ہوں گل مصطفیٰ اور آج کی ویڈیو میں ہم بات کریں گے ایپ ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ فار ٹیچرز جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں کہ سوشل میڈیا پہ ایک لیٹر گردش کر رہا ہے جس میں ایپ ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ کا ذکر ہے پورے پنجاب کے چار سو ستر پرائمری ٹیچرز کو پانچ ڈسٹرک کے سلیکٹ کیا گیا ہے ان کا ایپ ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ ہوگا یعنی کہ انگلش لینگویج پروفیشنسی ٹیسٹ ہوگا اب یہ جو پروجیکٹ ہے یہ ایک بالکل نیا پروجیکٹ ہے برٹش کاؤنسل اور قائد اعظم اکیڈمی فار ایجوکیشنل ڈیولپمنٹ نے ایک جو ہے وہ سائن کی ہے ٹریٹی جس کے تحت ٹیچرز کی انگلش ٹیچرز کی انگلش لینگویج اسکیلس کو انہانس کرنے کے لیے یہ پروجیکٹ لایا جا رہا ہے تو اس میں جو پانچ ڈسٹرکٹ کے چار سو ستر ٹیچرز ہیں انہوں نے یہ ٹیسٹ دینا ہے اب یہ ایپ ٹیسٹ کیا ہوتا ہے ایپ ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ فار ٹیچرز کے کمپوننٹ کون سے ہیں اور کیسے اس ٹیسٹ کو دیکھنا ہے کیا کیا چیزیں دیکھنی ہیں یہ ٹیسٹ کتنا اہم ہے ان سب چیزوں کے بارے میں آج ہم اس ویڈیو میں ڈسکس کریں گے تو وقت کو ضائع نہ کرتے ہوئے آگے بڑھتے ہیں چلیں شروع کرتے ہیں ایپ ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ برٹش کونسل کا ایک ایسا ٹول ہے جس کی مدد سے لینگویج پروفیشنسی اسکلس چیک کی جاتی ہیں یہ چار بنیادی فیچرز کمپوننٹس پہ مشتمل ہوتا ہے جس میں ریڈنگ لسننگ اسپیکنگ اور رائٹنگ شامل ہیں ان چار اسکیلس کا ٹیسٹ لیا جاتا ہے اور اس کے بعد ایک ڈیٹیلڈ جو ہے وہ آپ کی مارک شیٹ آپ کے سامنے آتی ہے آپ کا ریزلٹ سامنے آتا ہے اور جس سے یہ پتہ چلتا ہے ایک کمپریہنسو رپورٹ ہوتی ہے جس سے آپ ان چاروں اسکلس کا آپ کا ٹیسٹ پتہ چلتا ہے کہ آپ کون سی اسکل آپ کی اچھی ہے اور کس میں آپ کو امپروومنٹ کی ضرورت ہے تو بنیادی طور پر یہ چار اسکلس کا ٹیسٹ ہوتا ہے بالکل اسی طرح ایپ ٹیس فار ٹیچرز جو ہے یہ اسپیشلی ڈیزائن کیا گیا ہے ایجوکیشن سیکٹر کے لیے اور اس کے ٹیسٹ کنٹینٹ جو ہوتے ہیں وہ ریلیٹ کرتے ہیں ٹیچرز کے روز مرہ کے مسائل سے جن سے وہ روزانہ گزرتے ہیں اور یہ ڈیٹرمنٹ بھی کرتا ہے انگلش پروفیشنسی لیول بتاتا ہے ٹیچرز کا کسی بھی سبجیکٹ کے اعتبار سے ایپ ٹیس ٹیسٹ کا اسی سال کا تجربہ ہے برٹش کونسل کو اور اس کا ریزلٹ جو ہے وہ ریلائبل ہوتا ہے بیکاز آف کامن یورپین فریم ورک آف ریفرنس یعنی سی ای ایف آر کی وجہ سے اور پچاسی سے زیادہ ممالک اور ادارے جو ہیں اس کو ٹرسٹ کرتے ہیں ون پوائنٹ ٹو ملین پیپل ورلڈ وائڈ جو ہیں یہ ٹیسٹ دے چکے ہیں آن گوئنگ کنٹرول اور مانیٹرنگ اسٹینڈرڈس کی وجہ سے ریلائبلٹی اینڈ ایکوریسی اس کی جو ہے وہ بہت اچھی ہے اور اس کو ایکسٹینسو ریسرچ ایجنڈا اور ویلیڈیٹ کیا جاتا ہے انڈیپینڈنٹ ریسرچرس کی طرف سے ایپ ٹیس ٹیسٹ فار ٹیچرس کی ڈیوریشن کی بات اگر کی جائے تو گرامر اینڈ وکیبلری ٹوینٹی فائیو منٹس دیے جاتے ہیں ریڈنگ کے لیے تھرٹی فائیو منٹس رائٹنگ ففٹی منٹس لسننگ ففٹی فائیو منٹس اور اسپیکنگ ٹویلو منٹس پہ مشتمل یہ ٹیسٹ ہوتا ہے اب ہم باری باری ان تمام اسکلس کو دیکھیں گے کہ ان کے ٹیسٹ کس طرح ڈیزائن ہوتے ہیں اور ہم ان کو کچھ ٹپس کی مدد سے If you're taking the Aptis listening test, this is what you can expect. This component has four task types, all focusing on different aspects of real-life listening. You will have around 40 minutes to complete the test. You can hear each recording twice. To listen, just click the play button. In the first section, you need to identify specific information, such as a phone number, a time, or a place, by listening to a short message or a dialogue. In the next section, you will listen to short monologues by four people on a certain topic. You need to match each speaker to a piece of information. In the third section, you will listen to two monologues on different topics. For each monologue, you need to answer two questions about the opinion of the speaker on certain aspects of the topic. In the fourth and final section, you'll listen to a man and a woman discuss a topic and express certain opinions about it. Your task is to identify who expresses which opinion. Listen for clues in their language or tone to help you identify their attitude and intention. To perform better at the listening test, try these tips. Read the questions carefully before listening, identify key words and understand what it is you need to listen for. Watch for synonyms. You may see a word in a question and hear a different word with a similar meaning in the audio. Listen to the whole recording before choosing your answer. If you're taking the Aptis writing test, this is what you can expect. There are four parts to the writing test, all linked by a common topic. In this test, you'll be able to demonstrate your ability to use written English in real-life situations. 
You'll be given a specific context in which you have joined a club, a course or a group. You need to respond to written questions, contribute to a social media type interaction and write emails. All tasks are marked by our examiners. You will have 50 minutes to complete this component. In the first part, you'll be asked to respond in single words or short phrases to five text messages from another member. In the second part, you need to respond to a request for information by writing sentences. You're asked to write 20 to 30 words. Focus on writing sentences that are relevant to the request and have accurate grammar, punctuation and spelling. In the third part, you need to provide answers to three questions from other members of the club or group on a social media platform. Write between 30 and 40 words for each response. In the final part, you have to write two emails in response to some information you have received. You are asked to write a short informal email of 40 to 50 words to a friend and a longer formal email of 120 to 150 words to an unknown person. Both emails are on the same topic but should differ in terms of language used. The first one should be an informal email to someone you know while the second should be a formal email to a representative of an organisation. Make sure that you use the appropriate vocabulary for each email and that you use linking words to make the text coherent. Also watch your grammar, punctuation and spelling. To perform better at your writing test, try these tips. Make sure you fully understand the question and respond appropriately. Plan what you're going to write before you start. Remember to review your writing and correct any errors before moving to the next question. Stick to the word limit. There is a word counter to help you keep track. Make sure you use a variety of sentence structures and organize your text in paragraphs. Focus on accuracy. The grammar and vocabulary component is the core element of the Aptis test. You will have 25 minutes to complete this component. The first part tests your knowledge of English grammar and the second part tests your knowledge of English vocabulary. You can flag up questions you find difficult and go back to complete them later in the test. In the grammar section, you'll be presented with 25 multiple choice questions where you should complete a sentence by choosing the correct answer from a list of three options. Read the whole sentence before choosing the answer. Once you have chosen an option, read the sentence again to be sure of your answer before you move on. The vocabulary section also has 25 tasks. There are four question types. In the first question type, you need to match a word to another word of very similar meaning from a list of options. In the second question type, you need to match a word to its definition. In the third question type, you need to complete a sentence using a word from a list. In the final question type, you need to combine words that are frequently used together. Read all the options carefully before choosing your answer. Do not spend too long on any of the questions. Remember, you have to answer 50 questions in 25 minutes. If you can't think of the answer immediately, it's better to continue with the test and then come back to it later. The active speaking component tests your ability to communicate in English in real life situations. It takes about 12 minutes to complete and is divided into four sections. Your responses will be recorded and marked by our examiners. For each question, you're given a maximum amount of time to speak, but you can end the recording early by clicking on the stop button. Make sure you fully respond to the question before you stop the recording. In part one, you'll be asked three questions about yourself and your interests. You're expected to speak for 30 seconds for each question. In the second part, you have to describe a photograph, then answer two questions about it. You'll be asked to talk about your own experience of the topic of the photograph and to comment on some more general aspects of the same topic. You will have 45 seconds for each response. 
In part three, you have to describe two photographs, then answer two additional questions on the same topic. The questions will ask you to make comparisons and to express an opinion. Again, you will have 45 seconds for each response. In part four, you'll be asked three questions on a single topic. You will have one minute to prepare your answer. You can take brief notes and use these to structure your answer. You're then expected to talk for two minutes. Use your preparation time efficiently. Keep your notes short and simple and think about how to organize your ideas. To better prepare for the Aptis speaking test, try these tips. Make sure you understand the questions and respond appropriately and fully. Try to explain and expand your answers. Practice speaking as much as you can. Do not worry too much about mistakes. Instead, focus on whether your message was successfully communicated. Record yourself speaking as fluently as possible for a minute or two. When you listen to your recording, the key things to note are grammatical accuracy, appropriacy of vocabulary, effective pronunciation, hesitation, well-sequenced ideas properly linked together. This is an overview of the Aptis reading component. The reading test is divided into four parts and the tasks become more difficult as the test progresses. You will have 35 minutes to complete this part. The first part tests your ability to read and understand simple sentences. You will have to complete five sentences by choosing the appropriate word from a drop-down list. Make sure you read each sentence and all possible answers carefully before making your choice. In the second part, you will see two different texts. Each text consists of six sentences, but only the first one is in the correct place. Your task is to put the other five sentences in the correct order to make a coherent text. Read all sentences carefully first, then decide on the correct order. There is only one correct way to organize them. You need to look for words that show how the sentences link with each other. In the third part, you'll read the opinions of four people on a certain topic. Then you'll read seven statements and decide which person's opinion matches each statement. This part tests your ability to read and understand short texts. To perform well, first read each paragraph so you understand the point of view of each person. Then read the statements and decide which person's opinion it represents best. In the fourth and final part, you'll read a long text consisting of seven paragraphs and eight headings. Your task is to match the headings to the paragraphs in the text. There is always an extra heading that doesn't match any paragraph. Before starting the task, read the whole text quickly and then carefully read the headings. For each paragraph, choose the heading that best reflects its meaning. Look for clues to connect the headings to the paragraphs. These might be similar words, ideas or topics. अगर आप मेरे चैनल पे नए हैं और आपने अभी तक मेरा चैनल लाइक नहीं किया तो अभी लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल का बटन दबा दें ताकि मैं आपके लिए इसी तरह अच्छी अच्छी वीडियोस लेके हाजिर होता रहूँ बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया